Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Eugene. Today, I'm going to talk about first acceptance. I watched a video by Jason Blaha a few days ago from Ice Cream Fitness about first acceptance, and then I started watching all these videos on first acceptance. And then I realized that this fat acceptance thing is a major problem. Fat acceptance is not okay. It's not okay because what I find with most people who are into this fat acceptance thing is that they are not only fat, most of them are like obese. There's nothing healthy about being obese. There's nothing healthy about accepting your obesity. What they should be doing is trying to lose weight and trying to change their bad habits and trying to live healthy lives. Instead, the fat acceptance people encourage other fat people to accept that they are fat instead of encouraging them to try hard to lose the weight, to, hard, to try hard to be healthy, to try hard to eat healthy, to exercise. Instead, they tell people to accept that they are fat. Fat acceptance to me is giving up. It's giving up hope. It's giving up. It's accepting to be fat for the rest of your life. It's accepting that you will not, you will never be able to wear the clothes that you want. You know, you will never be able to go up a flight of stairs without feeling like you're dying. Fat acceptance is unacceptable to me. The words fat and acceptance should never go together. Fat acceptance is giving up. You know. Obesity, being overweight, being fat, whatever you call it, you know, it's something that's curable, you know. You can exercise, you can eat right, it's not so hard to do, it only takes discipline, you know. The mere fact that you accept being fat, accept being that way, tells me that you are not a focused person, that you are a lazy person, that you are not willing to put in the work to make sure that you live longer, you live a healthier life, and that you're not willing to feel better about yourself. And the worst part about this fat acceptance thing is, if fat people have children, and if both the parents are fat, then this fat acceptance thing is transferred to the children. You know, the, the, the children eat what the parents eat, so the children will also be fat. So this thing continues, it's a continuous cycle. It never ends unless you decide to stop it. Unless you decide that enough is enough. You want to live a healthy life. You want to be healthy. It's not about being skinny. It's about being healthy. It's about making good decisions. You know? It's about being responsible for your own health. 